Hello, I'm Chris. In this video, we're going to drive on some really tight country roads and then through a busy village. I'll be stopping and starting as I meet oncoming traffic and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing with the pedals and gears. If you're learning to drive a manual car, then this video will hopefully help. If you're learning to drive an automatic, then this video will also be beneficial to you too, as I'll be giving you some tips along the way to help you be a safer, better driver. These tips will also help you pass your driving test if you haven't already. If you do find this video interesting, then please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one, as it really helps us make more. The national speed limit here on a single carriageway is 60 miles per hour. And this is the sign for the national speed limit. Now in these good conditions, it's safe to drive on a road like this at 60 miles per hour. But definitely not this one. And they have the same speed limit. Don't forget that the speed limit isn't a target speed, or even necessarily a safe speed to drive at. And it's definitely not a minimum speed either. How fast you can safely drive depends on a few different factors, including the road and weather conditions, plus how far ahead you can see. The amount of driving experience you have also counts for a lot. If you're more used to slower town driving, then driving at a faster speed might feel uncomfortable at first, but you will get used to it with practice and time on the road. But bear in mind that more than half of fatal crashes happen on country roads. So never drive faster than it's safe to, and never feel pressured to either. Although I can see fine and it's not dark, I've got the dipped headlights on to help others see me. They might also see my lights shining on something before they see me, so it's like an early warning to them that I'm here. There's many hazards on country roads. They're often narrow, with blind bends, but always remember that when the road gets tight and you might feel uncomfortable or you can see less ahead, then make sure you slow down. Slowing down in these situations is essential. Straight away gives you more time to plan ahead, judge any gaps and just gives you more thinking time, which makes it easier and less stressful. There's an oncoming car and although they're slowing down, this space on the left looks bigger than the one they found, which will make it easier for both of us if I wait here. But if they didn't move, I would have gone through. They might not stop, they're slowing down and flashing their headlights, they want me to go through and it looks wide enough. In those meeting traffic situations, be ready to stop, but also be ready to go straight away. Keep planning ahead and never drive as if you're the only car on the road. Be ready for oncoming road users and expect them. If there aren't any spaces on your side, but there are on theirs, then you can stop opposite the space and wait for them to pull into it. As you're stopping, get ready to go again so there's no delay. There's another vehicle approaching, but I've got enough time to move up to the next space. When you do move over, look out for any ditches or potholes that could damage your wheels or tyres. Also, keep a lookout for any branches or rocks sticking out that could damage your car. Driving too fast when you can't see far ahead is dangerous as something like a car emerging out of a concealed entrance will definitely surprise you. Of course, you're sharing the road with others, such as these cyclists, who are harder to see, especially in these shadows. You can also expect horse riders and pedestrians walking in the road too. This road is narrow, but planning ahead, I can see a space on the left that I can use. Getting ready to move off again so there's no delay. Pressing a gas pedal to help move off quickly, smoothly 
and without stalling. Slowing down makes it so much easier to judge the gap. Slow down and be in the correct gear before the corner. Avoid harsh braking as you go round, or it will make the car less stable. You'll also have less control if you change gear on the corner. So choose the correct gear after you've slowed down on the approach. I slowed down to about 19 miles per hour, so second was ideal. But if you're in too high a gear, then the car will feel sluggish, or too low a gear, and the car will be revving too much. If you're approaching a blind bend, then you could use the horn to warn others of your presence. Or if it's dark, flash your headlights. For this bend that goes round to the right, I'll position slightly to the left for a better view. Gently increasing speed now I can see it's clear and safe, but slowing down when the road gets tight and I can see less ahead. Speed is a major factor in crashes on these kind of roads. The most common types of crashes on country roads are collisions at intersections, head-on collisions, and running off the road. As always, keep planning ahead, look out for any wider parts of the road where you could pull in if you need to, and don't let oncoming vehicles surprise you. When you do get a clear view of the road ahead, and it's safe, then increase speed to make progress, and potentially not annoy other road users behind. But remember that you should always be able to stop comfortably within the distance that you can see to be clear. Driving into a village now, and a change of speed limit to 20 miles per hour. I could wait in this space on the left, but they're waiting for me, so I might as well go through. But how did I judge that I could fit through that tight gap? Well, let's quickly go back and have another look. Well, first of all, the car in front has gone through that tight gap, and my car is a similar size to theirs. The car on my right that's waiting is also a similar size to mine. If I imagine that car in the space, then I'll be able to fit. Of course, your judgement will improve with practice and experience on the road. Looking out for the pedestrians. Now rather than blocking the road up and adding to the jam, I can just wait here. There's no point in me stopping too close to this parked car, otherwise it's harder for me to manoeuvre out. Always watch out for pedestrians crossing the road in between parked cars. They're waiting for me. Some faded keep clear markings. These markings help others turn into this road, and even if they're not there, it's still good to keep it clear. Keep planning ahead and look out for any spaces that you can use. Check the mirrors and move over. Is this driver going to park or let me through or neither? It's important to check the mirrors before moving off in case someone thinks I've parked and drives around me. A junction on a slight hill, but I might not need to stop if it's clear clutch control to creep out really slowly. Prepare to go, plan to stop. Leaning forward can help you get a better view at the junction if it's hard to see. This well hidden sign is showing that I've got priority here. I've turned around and now I'm going to go back through the village to hopefully find some more situations. Planning ahead, I can see a space on the left I can use. Make sure you move over enough to allow the oncoming vehicles to get through, 
but don't move over so much that you get stuck. You don't really want to have to reverse, so always think about how you're going to move out from the space as well. Don't forget to check your mirrors before you move over to the left for any cyclists, and check your mirrors before you move back out again in case anyone's going around you. Ahead I can see some giveaway markings, but there's no one coming, so I don't need to stop. I'm going to take the next road on the right, I'll check the mirrors and signal. Before you turn into a road, observe and be prepared for what might be next. There could be pedestrians, parked cars and oncoming. To move away slowly, I'll press the gas a little, hold the biting point for a couple of seconds and then slowly raise the clutch. If a vehicle comes towards me now, I could use one of these spaces on the left. Give the pedestrian time to cross the road. I've got to be ready for a large lorry that might come round this bend. Keep into the left, trying to be ready for anything. Well that's the end of the video, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe if you found it helpful. Really appreciate everyone that supported our channel by buying us virtual coffees. As always, keep safe on the road and see you next time.